Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the Nerf Hammer Shot Mod Guide. And um, this is a really neat gun because you actually fire it by using a hammer action in the back, as you can see right there. And then to fire it, obviously you pull the trigger. Now it's got a five dart turret, a lot like the Mar I mean, a lot like the spe Spectre, except it's an open. It's it's actually open over here. So today we'll be modding it. First of all, you need to take out all the screws on this side of the body, as you can see. Here's one right here. In total, there are 12 screws, and after I've taken out all the screws, I will be back. After you've taken out all the screws from the hammer shot that are in the body, which are also in skin, 12 of them, you can essentially just pry the gun apart. Now, I actually have really long nails, so I can do this by my hand, but some of you might need to use like screwdrivers, or a flathead screwdriver works really well. Um, and I'm actually gonna dump all these screws out of this way. Some of them are not coming up. But anyways, I will now disassemble the blaster. And I actually have one new screw. Okay. After that air is released, it goes into the barrel, which is located here. Now, there are no darts that are currently in here, but the barrel actually fits exactly the same length as the darts. And um, those are essentially the internals. Now we'll be taking them out and modifying them to the best of my ability. So this thing is the um, barrel. Pops out real easily off of the rotating mech located right here. And then it's just like this. Now, as you can see, there's a dart post right here. And we'll be taking that out uh, to allow for compatibility with all types of darts. And um, I'm just going to keep that here for now. And our main mods will be done to the plunger. The plunger is this thing. I wonder if it's going to come out. It looks like it's not. Oh, so there are actually three screws right here, so you're going to have to take those out. And I will be back after I take So we're out. back with the hammer shot mod. And as you can see, I've taken out this piece, which had housed these three screws. And you said to unscrew those, and it comes out real easily. And as you can see, now you have access to your main internals. You can see my uh, my plunger spring, or sorry, my spring already popped off, and this spring actually has a wider bottom than the top, it's very gradual, that's a pretty interesting design, and the trigger does not operate on a, like, a vertical spring, it actually upgrades on a torsion spring, or it works on a torsion spring, so, as you can see, it's flying over here now, so I'm going to try to take out the plunger tube right now, um, should be pretty easy, um, assembly yeah this entire assembly for the plunger tube and this thing just lifts out like this it's pretty simple and um, I will investigate a little bit more on the plunger tube and I'll be back after that hey guys I'm back with the um, uh, hammer shot mod and now I have completely essentially disassembled this thing and as you can see the spring even fell out and I'm just gonna keep that here um, this is the plunger head which is also, where our first model is going to take place, that is going to be a Teflon taping, the O-ring. So this is Teflon tape. It's plumber's tape. Um, you can get at your local like Home Depot or something. Uh, and I'm just going to cut a little piece off of it and then put it underneath of the O-ring just for more seal. So I'm going to fold it in half. This and then back around. And now we just have to put our O-ring back on it. And wow, this is a really thick O-ring. It seems like it already had a pretty good seal. I'm just going to test it real quick. Seems like it's pretty good, actually. Now, I'm going to take some silicon grease, which is this thing, um, and apply it to the uh, O-ring. I'm going to take A little bit more lubricant since I just touched the ring with the original lubricant, and that should be good. And I'm gonna put it back. And as you can see, we have our new plunger head. Um, actually, before this, I'm going to keep this here real quick. Uh, set it there um, because we need to take out the air restrictor on the hammer shop. The air restrictor seems to be located here, 
I have not figured out how to take it out yet, but it seems like it's just this little peg here, and we might be able to use pliers or some other thing to get it out. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back, and I have just completed two more mods. One is the dark post removal, and the other is the airstripper removal. So I'm going to tell you how to do those real quick. I wasn't able to document me doing it, but it basically works like this. You take a normal drill, get a bit that is at least this long, and actually it can be even short too because you're just reaching in from the front, and find the side with the felt padding, and then just get your drill and drill through. Basically, just destroy this whole entire hole. There's no like specific way to do it, just somehow just clear it of air. As you can see, there's now a clear hole through. There used to be a black thing that's blocking, but there, it's no longer there. And this is to allow for a clear air flow all the way through. And here, I've done the dart post removal. And this allows you to shoot any kind of dart, and obviously dart posts also restrict some amount of air as well. And the way I did this was I took some pliers, needle nose pliers, and you just reach over here on the back of it. Um, as you can see, this is the front view, this is the back view. Um, you just re get onto the um, dart post itself and just twist as hard as you can from the back. And I actually tried doing it from the front, it didn't work. So I found that doing it from the back is the easiest and most efficient way. And all five of them came off pretty easily that way. And then obviously you can clean it up a little if you don't like how it is right now. But overall that's pretty much it. Um, I may try to do something to the spring to upgrade the spring power. But otherwise that's pretty much all the mods that we're going to be doing. So. I've just finished the hammer shot mod and the mod guide, and it actually turned out really well. Now, just as a summary, we did the air stricter mod, I'm sorry, the air stricter mod, um, the dart post removal, and the seal upgrade. And those are all three of our mods, and now let's see how it shoots. So as you can see, it shoots all kinds of darts, and this is a Stefan actually loaded in there. So first off, let's shoot this, sorry. It's kind of hard to prime because my hands are small, but. If you prime it all the way, uh, that was actually the streamline. Oops. The that shot really flat and uh, occasionally it is a little bit hard to prime, mainly just because of my hands. That was the whistler. Sorry about the step in. That was a step in. And lastly, here's the suction. Anyways, well, the suction doesn't shoot well, anyways. But then, after our mods, it is a little bit harder to prime. I, I don't actually know why, but then normally the air stripper would be on, so then it wouldn't shoot the dart out. You would just have a fail prime. Now that the air stripper is out and the dart post is out, that means if you have a um, unsuccessful prime, it'll actually shoot the dart a little bit, which could be a problem. But generally, I mean, if you're like older or taller, then it shouldn't be a problem for you. Um, the darts actually lost a little bit of velocity. I don't know why, but they shoot around 10 feet further than they originally did. And um, also it shoots flatter and more accurate. It's like in a really smooth line instead of their old like curving stuff. So overall this was a pretty successful mod and I recommend it to anyone who's looking to mod a hammer shot. So thanks for watching.